When are we gonna understand that we are put on earth to love? That's all it's about. Everybody wanna figure out how complicated life is and, and break it down. This is what I truly think. I, I really think that it's gonna keep going on, war gonna keep going on, frustration gonna keep going on, anger gonna keep going on, till we finally go back down to the simplest word, love. And when God sees that, then we have the answer. People don't like to look themselves in the mirror. That's the hardest thing to do, you know, is, is to critique yourself rather than point the finger. Everybody hates change. So to actually do that and say, I'm wrong in a lot of areas. I look at myself in the mirror and I'm saying I'm wrong in a lot of areas. That takes a lot of willpower. It starts with self first. Before music, it's a lot of territories just being a part of the game culture and knowing how it reacts and being in the center of the heart of it. There's a lot of territories that, you know, I couldn't go to just off the simple fact it was bad blood between my neighborhood and the neighborhood around the corner. And those neighborhoods was off limits, way off limits. And just recently, I just found out that the same cats that I enemied or, or that enemied me somewhat has given me a higher respect further than game banging just off the simple fact I'm doing something that not only inspires them but inspires their kids which privileged me to go where I want to go in Compton. These words are powerful you know I got homeboys that's dead that's in prison and sometimes you get a lot of artists that just glorify that so these kids look at it you know they think it's nothing but cool until they put in a real situation where they back against the wall and it's all over. For me, that's what separates me as, as an artist. I'm gonna give you the gift and I'm gonna give you the curse. Yeah, for me, I'm responsible for myself to know what I'm talking about. That's where my responsibility comes, to know 100% what I'm talking about, because I'm a witness. It's your choice to listen to it, but it's my responsibility to know exactly what I'm talking about, you know, and to give, always give you both sides of the fence. I can't just write, I can't come up with an album if it's not from a self-experience. We so focus on what the outside is doing to us and stumbling upon us. We forget that if we're stronger on the inner core, ain't nothing nobody else can do. You can't break down something that's, that's so solid if the core is solid, the foundation is there, you know? It's just something that gotta be reversed. Definitely a curse that has to be reversed. That reverse may come tomorrow. Fortunately, when you talk about change, you talk about time. Time can be forever when you're dealing with something such as murder, violence, and most importantly, hate. I was surprised to hear some of the things that you were saying yeah. right here when, when you talk about depression and, and reveal suicidal thoughts. And right. I'm like, is this real? Is there poetic license? Like, like where did that come from? What, uh, what prompted that? I think I've, 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 I've pulled that, that song not only from previous experiences, but I think my whole life, I think everything is drawn out of that, even, even situations from Good Kid, Mad City. It wasn't that, it wasn't that vulnerable, nothing was as vulnerable as that record. So it's, it's, it's even pulling from those experiences of coming up in Compton, it's pulling with the experience of going through change and accepting change. That's the hardest thing for man, accept the change. And when I was on that tour bus and things is happening back home in my city or within, in my family, that I can't do nothing about. It's out of my control. I don't can put it in God's. I couldn't understand that. And that, that can draw a thin line, you know, between you having your sanity and you losing it. Mm -hmm. And this, this is how artists deteriorate if you don't catch yourself. Michael Jackson holds the record with 12 nominations. Yeah. You almost had the same amount of nominations as Michael Jackson for Thriller. The legend. I, I mean, wouldn't want to go past that, though. No. No. But what if you had 13? I, I, no. I take back. I can't uh, fathom being as great as Michael without putting out the work. So, 11 is perfect. You know, he's the legendary. I'm glad it's at What 20. happens? Say you do get 13. Kendrick, let's think about this. It almost <laughs> happened. I mean, then what do we have to do? You just gotta... I don't know. Yeah, you just gotta yeah. leave the country. You gotta do something else. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of my inspiration come from meeting people or going outside of the country or going around the corner to my old neighborhood, talking to a five-year-old little boy, 
and I have to remember these things. You know, I have to write them down, and then five or three months later, I have to find that same emotion that I felt when I was inspired by it. So I had to dig all the way deep and see what were the things that triggered yeah. the idea. Of Does it always come back? It comes back. Okay. It comes back. It comes back. Because I have key little words that make me realize the exact motion of what drew the inspiration. This is the challenge for me. Being able to talk about anything and make it connect to a listener where the listener can either feel like you or feel like they understand you yeah. or you have a, a just a deeper connection through the music with the listener. Talking to a little kid, making that represent something, feel like something, or saying the most brutal, harsh things on record where you know society may not want to hear it, you know, but still having that connection. And you can you can look at a person, you can have a conversation with them. You know if you know whether it's the music or who they identify themselves with. If it comes from an organic place, a real place, and we call the consumers, you know, we've been told to call the consumers done, but they're, they're not. They know when it's real. Absolutely. And they know if they can feel it, you know. Still to this day, when I look at my certain aspirations, as far as artists, when I look at Eminem, when I look at, at, at Jay, I felt, you know, the, the stories they were telling, you know, whether it was fictional or not. These, these, these ideas that they were putting down made me believe, you know, yeah. in everything that they were saying because it just came from a space of whether a realistic point or just their imagination being so strong, yeah. you know, and so heavy, Absolutely. you know, that you just get bombarded into their ideas. It's the reason, the true reason, the true meaning of imperfection, and that's beautiful. No matter what you're going through, imperfection is beautiful. I'm, I'm my own individual, man. Not smoking and not drinking doesn't uh, put down my manhood or my coolness, you know. I've been cool since elementary, you know, and I never beg for the attention. That's the difference, and, and I think that's what makes up who I am today and how I, I'm able to deal with fame. I always had the attention in high school, in middle school, I could never say, I can never put in my lyrics the sentiments of back then they didn't like me, but now I got money. Shout out to Mike Jones. That's not even a diss, but for any rappers that that you know, I hear them and rap those type of lyrics all the time. You know, the person that wasn't liked or wasn't cool, but now they got money, it was cool. I can never say that because I always you know got attention whether it was from the homies or whether it was from girls or whatever. So I take, you know, that same attention and I apply it with my lifestyle now. And this is what keeps me level-headed, to know that it was always there. It's not something that's new and I'm overwhelmed by it where my head is blown up and I got a half a thousand chains on. It's been there. So for me personally, it, it helps me as an artist to stay on, on level ground, you know, because it's not something that's new. It's not something that, you know, excites me to the fullest. These are the cats that inspire me like the most in uh, doing music for sure. And, and if you, you know, break down how I approach lyrics, you can hear the influence each and every one of these dudes. Give me J. I gotta write it so it can look right. This is any order too. Pac, give me Big, and yeah, give me Snoop. He's all, yeah. It's tough, it's, it's tough. It's tough, but you know, yeah. But that's what it is. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar.